people might know you from Sex Education. Is that a fun show to make? Yeah, it's amazing. We're having a lot of fun right now with season four. Um, are you in the Barbie film? I am, yeah. Oh, what are you playing in that? Connor! I can't deny the fact that there's a lot of people who've been very excited to see you in the studio today. Big fans of yours here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This wonderful new show. I've seen the first episode of it, SAS Rogue Heroes. I mean, it's quite a change from sex education. Yeah, it is. Um, It's a very exciting, action-packed show. True story, Mm. or true-ish. And it's amazing. It's about the establishment of the SAS, is that right? That's right, during the North Africa campaign in World War II. Mm. And you you play the part of, um, what is your character called? Called David Sterling. David Sterling. (laughs) Exactly (laughs) the sort of thing I should know. Um, David Sterling, who is a a, a real, really great character. and You play him amazingly. He's sort of unlikable. Yeah. He's quite... um, egotistical and self-serving in many ways but he is interesting and he was the guy that sort of was the spearhead of the whole movement it must be fun to play because i think he's quite uh yeah he's almost quite sort of um flamboyant in a way yeah because even though he's kind of this soldier who's quite world weary he's jaded by fighting in the war at this point for two years but and his father was a soldier and I know that much from the first episode. That's all I know. You're doing great. Um, doing great. Thank you very much. Thank- but yeah, he's sort of, he's got this kind of world weary attitude about things. And I, I, I imagine, was, was that fun to play around with? Oh, God, yeah. I'm so cynical. It was a, a delight. Are you? Yeah, I love it. I love being a cynic. <laughs> but no, you're right. He, he was eccentric and he was, um, you know, he was a painter at times in France. And I mean, that's the sort of amazing thing about the Second World War is that it was people from all different walks of life and... Uh, different classes all joined together for one thing. Well, I really love the way it represents the complexity of the the war. I think sometimes, particularly for like later generations, to get like a simplified version of it, it doesn't really do it any service, does it? Because I think what we don't realise, well, a, frankly, how horrific it was and mm-hmm. how awful it was for there for the people involved, which was basically everybody, um, but also how many different people were involved. And I thought that was very wonderful the way that this show includes all those different experiences and backgrounds absolutely it's been an honor to be able to um to get to to uh, step into those shoes and to, mm. and to learn more about that time period i feel like especially my generation are kind of losing interest now in gen z uh, yeah mm, your pumpkin spice lattes yeah exactly yeah. it's like you don't, it's like you, you don't even know about the second world war isn't no, it no, yeah no 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 so it's good <laughs> i think it'd be a re-education for a lot of people and, yeah. for sure I mean, uh, like I say, I think it, it, it does show some of the complexities of it and the fact that, I mean, like, obviously there are Indiana Jones films that are set during that time or there might be, like, if you're, like, classic films, you might have seen Casablanca, but it doesn't really show the the reality of, like, day-to-day where, you know, you've got a, a group of soldiers there and there are planes flying overhead bombing them and they're still having to stand to attention and yeah. they're sort of trying not to shake. I mean, it's a horrific yeah. thing to show, but I and, guess it's the reality of it. And also, you, you, as you say, that the show also is doesn't take itself too seriously at the same time. It's for sure. Funny and, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's moving, but it's funny and I think that's a welcome relief right now for people. Well, I think especially the character you play, Sterling, he is a, a, a sort of flamboyant character uh, who is very charismatic and he's sort of a wild child and he is he doesn't care what his senior officers say which is part of his heroism as well and you can imagine his sort of swashbucklingness inspiring a, a group of people to follow him in in quite a wild way i suppose he's sort of or at least i thought like a young peter o'toole with his roguish quality oh and... that's nice you like that yeah i like that reference okay. yeah okay yeah i like that and of course very you know it's in it's in the desert so yep. kind of looks like a lot of peter o'toole films absolutely yeah, yeah. the um <laughs> first episode deals with you jumping out of a plane is that something you had to do in real life uh absolutely not good um but i did jump from quite a height how high um i think it was 50 foot oh that's not bad it's not too bad i was afraid yeah and uh we were on the, the stunt coordinators had these amazing rigging systems that were sort of like bungees where that you would drop and then they would catch you at the bottom. Oh, uh, OK. In that time where you were dropping, they would press record and then it would look like you were jumping out of a plane. It does look like you're jumping out of a plane. And the idea is that Sterling's never jumped out of a plane before. He has no parachute training. Yeah. And so the end of the first episode... Well, no, no, I won't say. What, won't say what happens at the end of the first episode? What was it like to film those things? Because I always think it, it looks like it might be fun to recreate a parachute jump. But probably in truth, there's lots of people looking very serious. Lots of people shouting 
shouting things like turning over well sound when, speed you, you are right but when we were filming in morocco we did a lot of them as well and the the weather out there was a beast of its own. There was oh, what do you mean? Sandstorms every day at two oh. o'clock on the dot for four hours and four hours. We How? would be filming these parachute scenes, and suddenly your parachute would just lift off the ground, and you would be what and what taken up into the air. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. oh that's yeah. dramatic. Yeah, or dragged along and dragged along. I loved it. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Did Did you love it? Yeah. Did you really? Mm, it What's was great. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, it's different really? from the kind of you know mundane life mm. of being a being in a studio for twelve hours. Come on, it can't be that mundane. I mean, it's pretty glamorous, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I must imagine that must have been exciting. Was it fun working with the rest of the cast? Bob Absolutely. Pitton? He Bob was Pitton. amazing. I love Alfie so much, and I love everyone in that cast. Jack O'Connell, an actor that I'd looked up to since I was. Oh yeah, you brilliant. Know, Dominic West as well. What a charmer. Oh, is he a charmer in real He's life? He's a charmer. He's a real charmer. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. And obviously a fantastic actor. It was a, a real Yeah, yeah, delight. but charming first. <laughs> charming first. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. the most, as I found, that's the most important thing. Connor, people might know you from Sex Education. Is that a fun show to make? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I'm very fortunate with the people that I work with, uh, especially Alistair Petrie, who plays oh, yeah. Headmaster Groff, my father. He's a very, very dear friend of mine, and we're having a lot of fun right now with season four. Oh, you're doing the new one now. Yeah. Where do you film that? Uh, we're filming in and around Wales. and you know, In and around Wales. Yeah. Oh, we had people texting in earlier, didn't we, from Wales? Cardiff. Saying, Cardiff. Neil. And there were Neil. Neil in Cardiff. Mm. Right. Neil and Prey in Cardiff. And um, somebody going to a canoeing symposium in North Wales. Did uh-huh. you ever go to one of those while you were filming Sex Education? Um, no, but I got shouted at once by a woman on a canoe where we were filming on a river. Oh, what did she shout? She's, uh, we were joking around when they asked what we were filming and we said we were filming... I said, we're filming the new Indiana Jones. And she said, you can't be. You need to be handsome to be Indiana Jones. Oh. And then she rode off. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? No. And not true, Connor, not true, as evidenced by the fact that everybody on the team has come in at some point to talk to you. <laughs> um, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you get that? Because I always assume like the world of a, an actor is quite rarefied, it's quite protected, you're quite looked after, but you do get shouted at by, by, by random people quite a lot. I mean, being shouted at by a woman on a canoe is... I mm. enjoyed it. I got a big yeah. hearty laugh out of it. So well, I'm, and I'm also, as well, like they're not going to look that in control, are they? Because canoeing is quite a frantic activity. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to look quite ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Like, you've got to be <laughs> yeah. handsome to play that. Like, <laughs> and then go paddling off. <laughs> it's not a quick getaway either, no, is no, it? No, it no, it's not a quick getaway, especially <laughs> the current's against you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was just there, stuck on the spot. <laughs> Trying to, trying to canoe. Maybe she went upside down. Had to tap the bottom. Tap the bottom. Uh, tap the bottom. That's what they do, isn't it, in canoeing? I can't, it looks yeah, terrifying. To say that you're alive. To say is, is that it? to say to say you're alive? <laughs> no. You... No, it is. You ta- don't you tap it so that people know they don't need to come and rescue you? Oh, I thought you tap it to say please come and rescue me. Oh, well, Sinead, this isn't the time. Connor Swindles <laughs> is here to talk about being a great actor, and we're talking about like the canoe course we probably did in year nine. <laughs> Connor, you're from Sussex. What's that like? It's great. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Yeah, it must be nice. Lots of farm shops. Farm shops and, mm. and, and green rolling hills. Yeah. Do you live there now? I do not. I live in uh, leafy northwest London. Oh, the buzzing metropolis. Do you have a, a cool actor's life? Do you constantly going to parties, London I've got Fashion an Week? incredibly boring life. Oh, good. Tell us about it. And That's I'm like us. I'm so lazy. I do so Great. little. What I have do you... a dog called Moose that I walk every day. Oh, we love dogs, don't we, yeah. Sinead? I, yeah. Sinead has a dog. Oh, what what breed of dog is, is Moose? He's a bit of a mix. He's a Bosnian rescue. Oh, there you go. If, if only I had that round of applause effect, I could play that there, but nice. I don't. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Oh, well done. Well Thank done. You. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's great. He's cool. And then what else do you do when you're bored? I do things like reading. Reading? What? I think actors are supposed to say that they read a lot. Yeah, but do you? That sounds like the sort of thing people on like people put on a dating profile, isn't it? Right, right, right. I like right, right. reading. Yeah. What's your favourite book, Connor? Stoner. Stoner, okay. Not Captain Corelli's Mandolin? <laughs> also a great book. Also a great book. Treasure Planet, also. Treasure Planet's a good book. Treasure yeah. Island, not Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet's the Disney film that oh. I also love very much. Oh, I was going to say, I've never heard of Treasure Planet, but I would nod. <laughs> you know, in that way you have to with books, yeah. don't you? Like, oh, yeah, great book, good yeah, book, yeah. 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 Um, are you in the Barbie film? I am, yeah. Oh, what are you playing in that? Um, I definitely can't say. Oh, uh, <gasps> it must be Ken. I'm <laughs> playing someone who is uh, American. <gasps> Barbie? Not Barbie. And not Ken. Well, 
don't have to tell us. Um, that is very exciting, whatever yeah. you're playing. Maybe mm. just like a butler or something Why like can't that. you tell us? I don't know. I just don't know if I can or not. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... No, learn. don't. Don't worry. Don't worry, Connor. We don't want to get you in trouble. We know what they're like. Yeah. These big American studios. They'll be banging on your door. You'll be in, of course. As we know, you don't go out. <laughs> Um, and um, the dog will be barking, so they'll know you're there, and you'll be in trouble. That's what I'm worried about. Yes. <laughs> so you read, you take the dog for a walk. Yeah. You don't go to parties at Soho House and I things like that. I Rooftops. Don't. I don't. I try to avoid it. I've got both a, a sort of disgust with fame and a deep level of attraction to it. Oh, of course. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm one like of those. Me. Yeah, yeah, like me. Yeah. One of those troubled types. You, that is trouble. That's really good, though, for actors. You need to be troubled. You can't be too happy. No one wants to, like, that's why I could never be an actor. Like, hello, all right, yeah. <laughs> Love it, actually. It's great. Yeah. You can't be like that if you want to be a serious actor. Okay. <laughs> um, so you just stay indoors. You, you play with the dog. Read read books. Yeah. Scripts, of, I imagine you're sent lots of them now. I get sent a script every now and then, mm. yeah. Mm. Do you want to do some theatre? Um, one day, sure. Oh, not yet, no. Not it's yet. A bit, yeah, because so many plays are quite boring, aren't they? <laughs> 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 they are though no one says it but lots of plays are boring but they're also it's a lot of work oh yeah forget it I'm too lazy to get up there every night oh rehearsals as well every night every there for night. the half warm up on stage sometimes twice a day oh yeah, a matinee yeah, day oh, well, worrying matinee. about your voice <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah you can't go when can you go out you can't go out you've got to worry about the voice yeah. I'm in a play at the moment it's actually really hard and then you have to do the PR run I mean you think this is bad Connor yeah. imagine what it's like for a play yeah. what about a musical can you sing Absolutely not. Oh, that's a shame. I know. You'd be good in Les Mis or something like that. There's a little bit of singing in SAS. Is there? Yeah. Was, there, was it a musical? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. But I think um, that will be the nail in the coffin of my musical career. Oh. Uh, no. Well, the, anything's possible. True. Any, anything's, they can do auto-tune and all things like that. That's true. Yeah, true. SAS Rogue Heroes. Were you ever tempted to call it SAS Rogue Heroes? We all did, yeah. <laughs> did you? We all did. Was the team quite sassy? They were. Mm. Um, in particular, Bobby Schofield. Oh. Any relation to Philip? <laughs> <laughs> How did I never draw that line? <laughs> <laughs> How did I never draw Does that? Does he look line? exactly like Philip Schofield? <laughs> He's the Liverpudlian Philip Schofield. Oh, uh, the the tall guy with the moustache. What? No. <laughs> Was he? Is he the tall guy with in Rogue Heroes with no, the moustache? No, he's the the tall guy with the moustache. There's a tall guy in it with a moustache. <laughs> No, oh. that's not Alfie Allen. I've just been told in my head. No, he's not tall. That's... No offence. I mean, I'm not tall. <laughs> that I can that say might that. be Alfie Allen. Bobby Schofield is the is the scouser. Anyway, yeah, that's why what are we talking of. about Bobby? He's loving this right now. Well, that's f- well, okay, Connor. We can talk about you again if you want. Let's but we've talk... done quite a lot about I'd that love now. To talk about me. Again. Okay, what's your favourite flavour of crisps? Uh, this is actually a subject of mine that I love. Oh, now, okay, oh, fine. Good. Cancel I love the news. Um, chat. Prawn cocktail. No, that's ridiculous. What? Oh no! What's I can't yours have that. then? Oh, I like um, I like truffle. those fancy ones. Yeah, I yeah, like the truffle yeah. ones, and I like the ones that taste of Parma ham. Oh, yeah, you get them in like fancy delicatessen. So they, they do taste a little bit like feet. Yeah, but that's what. That's right. Just... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it, Connor. Stop trying to trip me up. <laughs> um, those prawn cocktail. What do you like? A skips? I do like a skips. Yeah, mm. I do like those. Mm. Yeah. Do you ever put them in a sandwich? Uh, I've done that before with mm. prawn cocktail especially yeah. well Connor well um, SES Rogue Heroes starts Sunday at 9pm on BBC One all episodes are then available on BBC iPlayer or iPlayer depending on how you say it um, and <laughs> it is a great show and honestly Connor it's an incredible performance it's going to take you to the next level stratospheric I've no doubt about it it's an incredible performance enjoy it watch it it's amazing uh, give it up for the fabulous Connor Swindles oh lovely to have you here thank you very much <laughs> 